Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu Alaikum. Salar Khan here, and today, from today, we start discussing the diode resistance levels. All right. So we will have three or four videos on it. So the heading is diode resistance levels. So basically, there are three types of these diode resistance levels. All right. So out of which the first we discuss in this video and the name of the first is the DC or static resistance. Okay, so now from the previous video we, we have the knowledge that if Q point changes the resistance also changes. All right. Resistance changes with change in Q point, and this marker is not working properly. I believe I've put the black ink in it. Okay, so the resistance changes with the change. Uh, of the operating point all right now but when this DC when a DC source is applied DC source is applied so what happens that it does not change with respect to time the operating point does not change with time because why because what the DC source applies uh, a constant uh, voltage and current. So if the voltage and current is not changing, so the resistance is not changing. If the resistance is not changing, the Q point is not changing. All right. So this is it. So how uh, because of IDQ will not change with respect to time. So let me read it out from the book. All right, we have the heading of resistance levels as the operating point of a diode moves from one region to another. The resistance of the diode will also change due to the non-linear shape of the characteristic curve. Okay, the DC resistance. The application of a DC voltage to a circuit containing a semiconductor diode will operate will result in an operating point on the characteristic curve that will not change with respect to time. Okay. So uh, and you can find you can find uh, the corresponding resistance level by the formula that R is equal to V by I. So the resistance of a diode at any point you find out the uh, the VD over that point divided by ID at that point. Okay. So the DC resistance level at the knee and below will be greater uh, than the resistance level obtained on the vertical line. So, so what happens is that uh, let's say uh, let me draw the characteristic curve. So, if this is the curve, right? So, this is the knee. Okay, this is the knee. So, the resistance levels below the knee are high. All right, and on the vertical section they are low. So, so let me write it down. Resistance below the knee are high in the vertical section they are low because a large amount of current is flowing and in the reverse bias region they are very high because a very less amount of current flows all right so that is like this fine now the next point is so in general therefore the higher the current to a diode the lower is its resistance typically the the range the range of the dc resistance is given the range that the dc resistance of a diode ranges from 10 ohms to 80 ohms so this is the range of it and how do you find it for let's say let's say at this point i need to find uh, the 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 what the resistance of the diode so so this is the corresponding voltage across the diode this is the corresponding current through the diode you put these values in that formula you get it so let me have an example all right now i am given a 
a what? A curve. Alright, so let's have an example. So let's say this is the curve for for any material. This is ID and this is VD. So let me take the book. Determine the DC resistance levels. So RD is unknown. Okay, and we are given some cases. We are here having over here values as well. So this is the this corresponds to a one microampere. Okay, then we have a 0.5 ampere is the barrier potential over here. We have a 0.5 volts. Then we have at 0.5 volts we have a we have a two milliampere of current. And similarly at 0 0.8 volts we have a 20 milliampere of current. So let's say this is 20. This is in milliamperes. This is in volts. And what they require is number one, ID is 2 milliamps. ID is 2 milliamps is given. The second is ID is 20 milliamps. ID is 20 milliamperes and the third that is given is VD is negative 12 a uh, negative 10 volts so we are given three cases you know like these three one is somewhere below the knee then in the vertical rise section and then in the reverse region so the first ID is equal to uh, <clears throat> 2 milliamperes would suggest what at 2 milliamperes the voltage across the diode is this one it is 0 0.5 volt so RD is 0 0.5 volts divided by a 2 milliamperes and let me copy the value so this would be 250 ohms 250 ohms okay now the second so RD is again VD over ID so for 20 milliamperes the corresponding value is 0 0.8 volts and this is to be divided by what uh, by by 20 milliamperes and so this value would come out to be 40 ohms all right 40 ohms and the third value the resistance of the diode is VD over ID so V is given is a negative 10 volts and the reverse saturation current is 1 microampere 1 microampere so this would result in a 10 mega ohms so the negative sign has nothing to do with the RD alright <clears throat> now this negative sign only suggests the reverse biasing okay so have a look as we said from here below the knee the resistance is high so which means 4.5 the resistance is high so have a look this is case number one suggests over here below the knee we have a high resistance now the vertical section we have a low resistance so have a look this 40 ohms is a low resistance and a 250 very low all right so this suggests to question number two and in the reverse bias region we have a very high resistance this is a 10 mega ohms 10 to the power 6 10 into 10 to the power 6 so compared to 40 very very high so this is case number three all right so this is about the first that is the TC resistance we don't have anything else to do in general the higher the current through a diode the lower is the resistance level so we know that in the reverse situation we have a very less amount of current then below the uh, below the uh, that breakdown that what voltage barrier potential or this knee potential we have a lesser amount and then after the knee voltage a very high amount of current so the resistance varies with the current that's all about it see you in the next lecture with the next uh, resistance levels all right so i should have said the names over here this is the dc or static the second is ac and the third is ac average so, see you there, see you in the next lecture very soon. Till then, take care of yourself and everyone around you. Goodbye.